So people always ask me, uh, Father Mike, what does your what does your ring say? It's not. Um, it's not. Uh, just, just say something. Okay, you're embarrassing me. This is. I'm gonna record. I'm recording this. Just say something. Just kidding. It reads. Um, it reads. You are a priest forever in Hebrew, and it comes from the Book of Psalms and. The letters of the Hebrews quotes the book of Psalms, you are a priest forever. I actually had it checked out, like that, making sure like they said you order that online. I was in Israel and actually there was a man who didn't know what it was supposed to say, an Israeli man, and he said, What's your what does your ring say? And I showed it to him and he said, Whoa, oh wow, I like that. He said, You are an everlasting priest. And I like that translation even more than you're a priest forever. You're an everlasting priest. So I I, I was really taken. I've always, you know, since I am a priest, um, I wanted that. I thought, maybe I should get a tattoo. And then I thought, well, I mean, I want to be a priest forever. I'm going to be a priest forever. Thanks be to the Lord. But uh, on a ring is probably better. Probably better on a ring. Speaking of tattoos, let's, let's talk about tattoos, shall we? Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz. This is Ascension Presents. We're going to talk about tattoos because people ask me all the time, Father Mike, is it okay to get tattoos? Um, is there anything sinful or evil about getting tattoos? Well, great question. Number one, in the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, it says, don't get tattoos. Don't mark your body. Don't cut up your body. That's good. And that's in the Bible. And what we have to do whenever we read the Bible is understand the context. What the Bible is talking about when it prohibits tattoos is it's talking about a certain kind of marking on one's body that gives oneself an identity typically in terms of tribal identity or in terms of dedicating one's body like for the dead or some other kind of like ritual in that sense. The Jews were instructed in the book of Leviticus not to do that. You don't have a tribal identity. You are, your identity is your part of the people of God. You're not marking your bodies for the dead because your identity is found in God who's the true and living God. So with that being said, the prohibition in Leviticus 19 might say temporal or cultural or temporary in the sense that if your tattoos mean that you're consecrating yourself to something other than God, then yeah, don't do that. If your tattoos mean that you're consecrating yourself for the dead or to the dead, then yes, don't do that. But if they don't mean that, then there may not be, I would say there isn't a prohibition specifically or explicitly against any and all kind of tattoos. Now, that being said, there are some tattoos, even if it's not intrinsically evil, there are some tattoos that we would not as Christians be able to get based on a couple things. Number one, um, if, if they're an, of an evil thing, right? So to get an evil image, um, so it's something that would be satanic, something that would be, um, uh, what's the word, lewd? would be, would, lewd would be the right word. I say crude, lewd or crude. Um, don't do that. Um, secondly, the where you get it is kind of important. Sometimes the where you get a tattoo is directly related to um, some kind of like, I'm trying to say something about uh, a use or misuse of my sexuality. So that kind of tattoo would also probably be, um, don't do that kind of thing. So uh, the kind of tattoo, the where you, where you get the kind of tattoo. The third thing would be the amount, the number of tattoos. Now, what I mean by that is this. There are some people who just, they have tattoos all over the place simply because uh, they like tattoos. And on a certain element, you'd say, okay, I mean, that's whatever. On another element, if you cared about the person, you might ask the question, hey, what's going on with all the tattoos? Because a person could find themselves seeking tattoos out of a sense of maybe self-loathing. Now, of course, I'm not saying that everyone who has a sleeve has that kind of thing, but it is a good question to ask. What am I saying when I mark up my body? That's the big question, as Catholics will ask. What am I saying if I feel compelled to mark up my body? Um, now, a lot of times people will say, well, I'm not saying anything. I just, I'm just i trying to be unique. I'm trying to be distinctive. Or I, just, I like this image or I like this saying. The thing I have tattooed on me is a cross or the thing I have tattooed on me is a verse from Scripture. Like that, again, I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm just saying it's a great question to ask is what am I seeking or what am I trying to say with these tattoos. Just like you'd say, I would say the same thing when it comes to like, hey, you're wearing that t-shirt. Like, what are you saying by wearing that t-shirt? Nothing necessarily wrong with a certain kind of dress or a certain kind of haircut. It's just the question is, what are you saying? What's, what are you revealing about yourself? Particularly, what are you revealing as your deepest identity? Should I get a tattoo? That's the question. Should I get a tattoo? I remember someone asking, uh, they wrote an article about this and they said, you know, with our changing culture and our changing tastes, there's some important questions to ask before you get a tattoo, because that's kind of a permanent thing. And he asked the question, he said, okay, so you're talking to a random, you know, 23-year-old or 20-year-old who wants to get, go out and get a tattoo and said, okay, rewind your life by 10 years. 
and ask yourself the question, 10 years ago, what would be the one tattoo that you would get 10 years ago? Now, 10 years later, would you still want that tattoo on your body permanently? No, if someone says, yeah, absolutely I would. Okay, great, wonderful, no problem. But it's a good question to ask. Now, the way I like to do it is this. Um, if you have an image you want, like I want this image on a tattoo, I think it'd be super cool, great, no problem. Here's what you should do. Just, you don't have to, it's just part, part of my advice. Get that exact image, the actual size. Get it silk screened on a t-shirt, or actually on seven t-shirts, and wear that under, as an undershirt every single day. And if after a year of wearing that same image every single day you want that tattooed on your body, then that is a good sign that that's gonna be an image that lasts. If after a year you're like, oh man, I am bored of this image, then now you know, you just dodged a bullet and you don't have that permanently imprinted on your body. Now, I've always wanted to get tattoos. I, as of yet, have zero. And why? Because I know that I'm fickle. I want a cross. Well, what kind of cross? I don't know. I want a scripture verse. What kind of scripture verse? I want something to identify me as a, as a soldier of Jesus. You know what will identify me as a, as a soldier, as a son of God, as a, as, a, as a Christian? Not a tattoo, but the way I live. The t-shirt we put on, the cross we put on our neck, or even the, the tattoo we print and print on our skin, it might just be it might just be too easy of an identifier. Even the ring we slip on our finger might be too easy of an identifier. The hard thing that identifies me as a son of God or as a priest of God or as a follower of Jesus is the way I live. That's hard to do and it takes a daily decision. Tattoo is a one-time decision. I want to live my life like a Christian every single day. I want to live my life as a priest every single day. And that's why when I have this on my ring, I take it off at night and I put it on in the morning saying, today, once again, I want to live as a priest today and forever. My guess is, whatever you would get tattooed on your body, that's more a thing that you want to live than you just want to wear. But from all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike Schmitz. God bless. Thank you.